Welcome to my lecture online and here's yet another way in which we can find the volume of one of those bowls again taking the curve y equals 2x squared and rotating it about the y-axis in this case we're going to take a small volume element slicing it in this direction and so we call that the washer method because what we end up with looks like a small washer the volume dv can be calculated by taking the volume of the whole thing without the hole so this would be pi times the radius squared times dy pi 2 squared is the area of this without the hole times dy which is the thickness gives you the volume of that minus the volume of the hole which is pi x squared dy the distance from there to there is x this distance is 2 2 minus x would be that distance right there so you can see then that if we want to find the volume of the washer we simply factor out a pi and a dy so we get pi dy times the quantity 4 minus x squared so when we're going to integrate this the volume will be the integral of dv and it'll be the integral of the dv which is pi times 4 minus x squared dy evaluated from 0 to 8 because in this case we're integrating in the y direction and when we get to this point right here since y equals 2x squared when x is equal to 2 y would be equal to 8 so this point right here we can say that y will be 8 now we still have one more problem we have an x in here and a dy so we have to replace the x in terms of y so we can say that x squared can be replaced by y over 2 so we can say that this is equal to the integral from 0 to 8 of and we can take the pi outside of 4 minus instead of x squared we can write y divided by 2 times dy and now we're ready to integrate when we integrate this we get the following pi times 4y minus y squared over 2 times 2 which means 4 and then we evaluate that from 0 to 8 of course when plugging the lower limit we get nothing we only need the upper limit so this is equal to pi times 4 times 8 which is 32 minus that would be 64 divided by 4 and so this is equal to pi times 32 minus 16 or 16 pi and again we got the right answer using the washer method just like we got using the cylinder method and the way we got using the triple integral using the cylindrical coordinates so you can see many ways sometimes to solve the same type of problem and this is how it's done